Hello friends, we are the students of 9th class from Donald Memorial High School. We are here to say you about an interesting experiment that is the testing the groups of blood. I am Lalitya. I am Ayushma. I am Jennifer. I am Charlie. And we are here to do an experiment. So let's begin. The required materials are this kit which contains anti-A syrup, anti-B syrup and anti-RS syrup, porcelain white plate, syringe, cotton pad, toothpick, wax pencil and the blood sample. Now let's start the experiment. Now, first what we have to do, take a porcelain white plate and draw three circles with a wax pencil. Name them as A, B and RH. Now we need to put the blood sample in these three circles. Now let's put the anti sears in this blood group. Let mix it with the toothpick. mixing let's wait for 5 minutes and check the results we have to use only one stick for each of this for mixing so that the blood doesn't mix with the other now, if the agglutination happen in any of this blood, then that is the blood group of that person. Now, the agglutination has happened in A and RH. What is the group? This blood group is A positive. Now, let's test another sample. Now let us put each drop in each circle. Now let us put the blood drops in the circles.
word in B rather than A or R H. So it is B negative. Now let's test an another sample. Now let's put this sample in each circle. Now let's put again the anti-CRs in this blood group. Let's mix them again with the toothpick. Let's wait for 2 minutes and check the results. Now, the agglutation did not occur in A and B, but it has been occurred in RH. Now, what is the blood group of this? The blood group is if the agglutation did not occur in A or B, then the group is O. The agglutation have been occurred in RH. So, the group is O positive. Hope you all enjoyed and learned how to find the blood groups. Thank you.